Welcome to SDT's Ultrasound Applications Video Tutorial Series. This tutorial, titled Keep Your Trap Shut, is intended to instruct you on the basics of testing for failed steam traps using structure-borne ultrasound inspection. You should take away from this tutorial a better understanding of the role ultrasound can play in maintaining your steam systems. Some examples of steam trap data collected during surveys will illustrate what you should be listening for. A steam system is a collection of components that deliver steam from a boiler to the point of use and back to the boiler. The design and installation of the system impacts how efficiently steam is transferred from point A to point B. The goals are minimum steam loss, maximum transfer of heat, timely removal of condensate and non-condensable gases. Poor designs and failed components mean more steam is condensed back to water, wasting exp expensive heat energy. A steam trap is an automatic valve that opens to purge condensate and non-condensable gases from the system. The steam trap keeps steam pure and allows it to be repurposed. A steam trap is a vital component of the steam system that ensures efficient heat transfer while preventing impurities from corroding the rest of the steam system. There are four common types of steam traps and all work to remove impurities from the steam system. The four types are known as inverted bucket, float and thermostatic, thermostatic, thermodynamic, or disc. Traps work on one of three operative modes. They can work on a change in density, a change in temperature, or a change in velocity. Steam traps are necessary for the overall efficiency of heat energy transfer. When traps fail, they waste money. They create back pressure in the steam system and they cause process failures or quality issues with your end product. If condensate is not removed from the system, it can pool in low areas of piping. Eventually, the pool grows in size until it closes the pipe completely, causing back pressure and water hammer. One supposes that a steam system was engineered properly from the start to handle its intended capacity. For every trap that fails, the capacity of the overall system is compromised placing added strain in other working components. Therefore, the overall life cycle of the system is reduced incrementally with each unidentified failure. When total system failure comes, and it will, chances are your preparedness will not be where you'd want it to be. Traps can be tested using one of three methods. With SDT's new SDT270, you can do all three with one instrument at the same time. Visual testing, temperature testing, and ultrasonic testing. When testing traps using these methods, it is equally important to know your surroundings and pay attention to safety. Serious burns can result from carelessness when working in and around steam systems. Know the system and understand how the traps function. Traps are tested online with live steam inside them. They are going to cycle at different stages and those stages are dictated by processes in your plant. Choose, choose the test methods that will give the best results and document your findings for trending. Ultrasonic data collectors like the SDT270 sense high frequency noise created by the turbulence of steam and condensate and the mechanical movements of the trap's inner components. Ambient plant noise is ignored while sounds inside the trap are translated to an audible level. With the SDT270, you can choose to listen to the trap and using your experience, judge its condition, log decibel levels of each trap and store them to a database that will compare and alarm changes from month to month, log temperature levels upstream and downstream of the trap and store them to the same database, capture a dynamic signal of the trap and visualize its performance in the time domain while comparing to previous month's time signals. Now I'm going to play for you video captured on four steam traps. Two are working well, one is stuck open, and the other has an internal mechanical failure. See if you can decide the condition of each trap.
Well, this concludes the tutorial, Keep Your Trap Shut. Thank you for watching this application video tutorial from SDT's Learning Center. I trust it was informative and hope it compels you to take action to start a steam trap maintenance program at your plant. Check our website often as we continue to build out this how-to tutorial series. Visit www.sdthearmore.com or contact us at the toll-free number listed on this slide. Thank you.